Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Canon A1. It was made from 1978 to 1985. It's a decent run. It was their top of the line in the A series. It takes the older FD mount uh, lenses. We've got a decent Tokina uh, 28 millimeter 2.8 on here. We've got a strange assortment of lenses with this kit. Uh, it takes the uh, 6 volt PX28 battery. It's got the same kind of a door as the AE1, the AE1 program, the one that everyone breaks. This one has this sport grip kind of thing, which is nice because this will hold the battery door shut if your battery door is broken. Thankfully, this one is not. Um, it's got this strange thing. They call this the uh, AT dial, and this means you won't uh, hit the dial accidentally and change your shutter speed or your aperture. Um, it'll do aperture priority with any lens uh, down to uh, f22. Shutter priority uh, program mode where all you have to do is focus. Uh, you can preset aperture priority, um, speed light auto exposure, uh, if you're using a compatible series speed light, you don't have to, you know, do your guide number and how far away you are and what your f-stop is. It'll do it for you. Or it'll be a full manual camera. So a little bit more about this. With this thing down, right now it's in program mode showing the green through here or selectable shutter speeds. If you move this dial, I can move it, then it moves the dial over and now it's showing f-stops which will con be controlled uh, by the camera body. The shutter is electronically controlled, horizontal, uh, it's cloth shutter, uh, one one thousandth of a second to thirty seconds plus bulb and uh, electronic uh, flash sync at one sixtieth of a second. When you're in aperture priority mode, the shutter speed is continuously variable. That's nice. The uh, Minolta XE7 had that, of the cameras that I've done. This is the main switch, L for lock, um, and then A to turn it on. This is also where you select two or ten second uh, self timer. It does a center emphasis averaging meter. I'm not sure exactly you know, what percentage of what's visible in the viewfinder it's using. That's what the manual says. Um, in the viewfinder, it uses seven segment LEDs along the bottom. It'll show you your shutter, your aperture, uh, again if you're using a compatible speed light, whether the flash is ready, over under warnings. For doing long exposures, this switch controls whether that will actually show in the in the viewfinder. Um, there's a viewfinder shutter as well. And then the button at the center of that switch, that's your battery check. It lights up this red LED over here. Um, it'll do multiple exposures. If you set this and you wind it on, it will cock the shutter without actually advancing the film. Um, if you're using an older lens or an adapted lens, there's a stop down lever right here. And then um, this button is an exposure memory. So if you're composing for the light that's over here, but you want to shoot here, that'll lock it down. You don't have to fiddle with anything except just recompose. And then the uh, exposure preview. It's settable for ISO 6 to 1280. Um, this little silver button here locks the film speed dial so you don't hit that accidentally. And then this side is exposure compensation, plus or minus 2 EV and I believe that's third stop steps. And again that locks, that uses this button. This is an amazing camera. It pretty much can do everything except focus for you. This thing is in great shape. Yeah, I did, uh, you know, get this 28mm uh, lens. I got an interesting old uh, walking around lens. This is a Canon made lens, 35-70. to 70. Uh, It's f4, it's not bright, but
but it's f4 uh, you know if you want to have it that wide open all the way through the zoom range so that's kind of cool I shot with this a bit so it's, it's a nice lens I did uh, score a really nice speed light with it this is a 199a it's made to work with this camera obviously it has uh, you can adjust it all the way straight up. There's click stops, but you can adjust it anywhere. Uh, it has this uh, diffuser for when you're using wide lenses. Um, with this camera, you can put it on there and pretty much forget it. All you got to do is set your film speed on it. Um, and I got lucky, that one's in really good shape. Kind of a bizarre assortment with this kit. Uh, I got the, uh, the 28 the Canon Zoom, I've got this Chiron Zoom, uh, it also does uh, 1 to 4 macro, so it'll go up to quarter life size. It's 80 to 200 millimeter, and then I got a 2x tele extender for it. Nice bag, uh, cable for the shutter, so it's a decent kit. I've uh, gotten some really nice shots. One thing that's really fun with this camera, listen to the shutter. That's the sound effect that everybody uses. Anyway, I uh, ran a roll through it. I'll probably run some slide film next, so the second set of pictures won't be up for a while. But I'll see you then.